Hello everyone. I'm gonna show you how to design a poster for this Halloween. Okay, so this Halloween I'm gonna have a party for my friends and family. In order to get people to come, I'm gonna make a poster. I'm gonna be using an online design tool called Design Bold. If you've never used it, in the top right hand corner, you can see a button which allows you to create a free account. After you've logged in, you now need to go to the collection page. Here you can see many different layouts that Design Bold provides for you so that you can have something to start with. I'm gonna be making a Halloween poster, so I simply click a tab in the center middle. However, if the tab isn't available, then I can browse on the left as well. This way of browsing allows me to search by type of design I want to make. But the way I like using it the most is the search feature in the top right hand corner. Okay, so I'm typing in Halloween into the search bar. Okay, so now I just scroll down and look for what it is I'm designing. Facebook cover, Twitter post, flyer, Instagram post, and then choose the one I like. I'm making a poster and I like this one. The first thing I like to do is name my design because I've got a lot and I want to stay organized. Halloween party. Okay, you can see that there's a watermark in the background of the image. That means you should buy this image. But don't worry, you should only buy it if you really, really like it. There's another way to design for free using this tool. You can upload images you already have. On the left-hand side, click the button and browse for the image you've already collected. While it's, while it's uploading the image you provide, go ahead and delete the unwanted watermarked photo. All right, now the photo is uploaded and all you have to do is drag and drop the photo to your design. Okay, so this photo isn't the correct size, but that's okay. All you have to do is scale it by dragging the corner to its appropriate size. Go ahead and place the photo how you like it too. Now we have a problem though. The words are hidden, but that's okay because we can fix it easily. They're covering the words because they're on the top layer. All you have to do is select the photo and with this pop-up menu, click the back button until you can't anymore. The words don't match anymore, so now I want to change the color to match the eyes to red. You can choose whatever color you like, or you can choose from the recommended colors, whatever it is you like. Okay, so we're almost done. Now you've got to change the text to what it is we're doing. I'm having a potluck party. Okay, the alignment got messed up, but it's easy to fix. Just drag and drop the text to its appropriate location. So now, to our detailed information section. This is just as easy as what we've done so far. Select the element we want to change and enter the appropriate information. Time, location, and contact information. Okay, so I'm not feeling this color. Let's play around with it until we find something I like. Okay, so I like this one. For colors we've already used, the exact same color will be displayed within the document color section so that we don't need to spend a lot of time looking for it again. Another thing we can do is change the font size and font family. Position it again. Okay, so let's try another font. Actually, I don't like this one. I'll hit undo and then the original font is back. Okay, so it's looking good right now. I'm happy with it. Now I just need to download it. Here we can change the name once again and choose the format of the poster we want to download. PNG, JPEG for web, or PDF for print. Click save to my computer. I hope you guys send me some candy for showing you how to do this. <laughs> okay, so now it's done. Look, it's right there where we saved it. That was super easy. We got it done in like two or three minutes. All right, good luck guys. I hope you liked the video. Have fun at your party.